Nathaniel here, we're going to be doing a new tutorial on Patsy. Okay, so let me tell you what Patsy does and then let me tell you why you want to know about it. Okay, so Patsy is a great tool, it's a great library, it's in Python and it's for statistical data transformations. If you don't know what a statistical data transformation is, here are some examples. Uh, making categorical or qualitative variables into numeric ones. Uh, going ahead and doing simple things that are stateful transformations like centering or standardizing your data or doing any sort of spline regression. Anything like this, uh, including interactions of all those sorts of things, are statistical transformations of your data. So if any of those words kind of seem similar or familiar, I think this might be something for you. If none of those words seem familiar and you are a data scientist, a statistician, or a computer scientist in big data, you should probably first look up some of those words, but then second, you should totally watch this too. Uh, this is incredibly useful for anyone that's doing any sort of machine learning. Um, when you'd use this, you've gone ahead and you've gotten your data. Uh, so you've downloaded it. You've cleaned up a lot of the junk out of the data, a lot of the cruft. So you've munged it fairly well. You're ready to take this data and feed it into a machine learning model. Right at that point is when Patsy comes into play. It goes ahead and it transforms your data in statistically relevant ways in order to make that machine learning model work better. Uh, it's super useful for uh, linear models, especially if you're doing any hypothesis testing or any linear models, uh, Patsy is incredibly useful. So if any of that is relevant to you, Patsy is the tool to use. Uh, I'm gonna be going over all of it, all of the weird parts, so please stay tuned for that. Um, I hope you like them. Please comment if you want me to do anything else. Uh, aside from this, uh, and as always, uh, give it a like or subscribe if you are uh, inclined to do so. Okay, thanks guys.